the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation, Mr. Vino? Mr. Moderator, the Board of Selectmen recommend. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion for $125,690. All those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Line 20. Mr. Jones. Mr. Moderator, on lines 20 through 22, I move to raise and appropriate the sum of $62,364 to fund the Treasury budget as specified on lines 20 through 22 is printed in the sponsor recommended column of the warrant. You've heard the motion. Does the Finance Committee have a recommendation, Mr. Conry? Mr. Moderator, the Finance Committee recommends. Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation, Mr. Vino? The Board of Selectmen recommend, Mr. Moderator. On the motion for $62,364. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Mr. Vino. Mr. Moderator, I move to raise and appropriate the sum of $163,978 and to fund $6,600 from water revenue for a total of $170,578 to fund the collection budget as specified on lines 23, 23 through 25 as printed in the sponsor recommended column of the warrant. Mr. Moderator, the Finance Committee recommends that we would also like to comment that the Collection Department as well as the Treasury Department have, uh, shows efficiency of operations and therefore we do have a decrease in cost. Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation, Mr. Vino? Mr. Moderator, the Board of Selectmen recommend. Is there any further discussion? Gentlemen in the aisles, please state your name and address. Yes, Anthony Salini, Tower Hill Road. Um, just looking at wondering why we're taking money from a water reserve and why we're not just uh, taking it from revenues to pay off the, uh, to be included in the operating budget. The uh, motion that the chair has in his hand reads as follows. Move to raise and appropriate the sum of 163,978 and to fund 6,600 from water revenue, not water reserve, for a total of 170,578 and so forth, etc. So it's not water reserve, but water revenue that the motion oh, water, I'm sorry, water revenue. Yeah. Uh, would anybody uh, care to answer Mr. Salani's question? Mr. Jones, Jr. Um, <clears throat> I think if this, this is the collection department, uh, that would be the amount of time that the people that work in the collection department and the expenses that are dedicated towards uh, running the water enterprise revenue, i.e. sending out the bills, processing the bills, uh, and that's what's attributable to the water department. So that is what's used to fund uh, so the, it comes from the water revenue, which would be the money that's taken in during the upcoming fiscal year from water bills. So shouldn't that go to uh, reduce our water bills instead of being transferred over f from funds into the, this budget of collections? Or, or even taking the, the next one as an example. There's quite a few that it's not in just in collections. <clears throat> if we, if we if we, took, if we chose not to take it from the water revenue, we could choose to increase taxes and charge less than the water revenue. You could do it that way and say that you're not going to do that. But what, we've do, what we do in the budget, and you'll notice it's throughout, is you try to ascribe the amount of time that a per particular person uh, working for the town spends on water-related issues, whether it's in the finance department or it's in the collection department. Um, so in this particular case, uh, $4,000 from salaries is what's attributable to that person that is paid that salary is attributable to their time working on water enterprise issues, sending out the bills, entering the data, uh, processing checks that come in, uh, and we charge it off against that enterprise. Thank you. On the motion, which is for $170,578, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Line 26, Mr. Jones. Mr. Moderator, <clears throat> lines 26 through 28, I move to raise and appropriate the sum of $58,713 to fund the sum of $13,500 from water revenue and transfer the sum of $23,000 from free cash for a total of $95,213 to fund the information systems budget as specified on lines 26 through 28 as printed in the sponsor recommended column of the warrant. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Ray, the Finance Committee recommends, you may note in this article, the capital line of 23000 for uh, computer hardware, et cetera, and you'll also note below that that is part of that $23,000 from free cash in the capital, so that was part of that package of subsidization. Mr. Jones, Jr. you for the Board of Selectmen, I take it? The Board of Selectmen recommend, uh, and as I think my uh, chairman of the Finance Committee stated, um, the free cash transfer uh, is for the capital, as we talked about earlier uh, in the evening. Mr. Bernstein, please state your name and address, sir. Frank Bernstein, 150 Central Street. Does this include any costs that may be involved in the year 2000, the Y2K investigation or remedies? And have we been checked? And are we ready? Does anyone wish to touch that one? Mr. Dow. I can speak to a portion of that. The uh, financial software of the town will be Y2K compliant. Uh, it's being installed uh, before June 30th of this year. Uh, last year, we replaced uh, roughly half of our PCs that are used within town hall, and they are Y2K compliant. And the remainder of the PCs that are replaced this year. So I think we'll be all set on the financial side. Mr. Pasquale. I, I was at the selectmen's meeting. We had discussion about this, but it never was quite clear to me who this individual was going to report to. Is he going to report to Mr. Dowd or to the town administrator? Because Mr. Jones, Jr. Um, <clears throat> the person on a day-to-day -day basis reports to Mr. Dow with ultimate reporting responsibility to the town administrator. So it's going to report to Mr. Dow? Yes. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, on the motion, which is for $95,213, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Mr. Vino, line 29. Mr. Moderator, I move to raise an appropriate to sum of $2,460,238 and to fund 98500 from water revenues for a total of $2,558,738 to fund the pension and benefits budget as specified on line 29 as printed in the sponsor recommended column of the warrant. have a recommendation, Mr. Jones, Jr., Sr. Uh, Mr. Monterey, the Finance Committee recommends, in answer to an earlier question, I believe, from Mr. Sylvia, this is where uh, health insurance lies. And secondly, please note, county retirement, $775,000, even though the state is abolishing counties here and there, they have not yet seen fit to absorb the county retirement, so some of the towns and cities are still bearing this burden. Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation? Mr. Vino. Mr. Moderator, the Board of Selectmen recommend. Gentlemen in the aisle, please state your name and address, sir. Jim Pothier, 16 Burnett Road. We've been talking earlier about water revenues and the allocation of time that people have, such as the Town Administrative Collections Department. I'd like an explanation uh, to the town meeting members why we're using almost $100,000 from water revenue for pensions and benefits. Mr. Dow. That's to pay for the uh, employee benefits of the water department employees. Thank you. Any further discussion, Mr. Pasquale? Yeah, Mr. Jones, senior. Just a rough percentage of that 2.5, because I got up and made a statement to Mr. Young about school department, you know, in this. How much of the percent, well, give me a percentage of the 2.5 that's apportioned to the school department. Mr. Jones, Sr., I guess the question was addressed through the chair to you, if you wish to answer. Okay. Because you can round it off. The chair will call a recess of five seconds for consultation.
Mr. Jones, Sr. Well, first to answer the question, let me make the statement. One of the, uh, remember this is titled Pensions and Benefits. School is not included in this pension retirement. They have their own funding. So that makes it a little difficult to be finite because there are town pensions in here but not school vis-a-vis -vis other benefits. So I'm, I'm going to guess, I guess it's and it's a pure guess, that roughly 40% or a little less is schools and 60% or a little more is town. Correct, okay, but, but not the pension portion. Okay. Mr. Reitmeyer, please state your name and address, sir. George Reitmeyer, Mead Road. Uh, I'd like to ha ask a question, have someone answer on the last one down here where it says teacher's ERI. I assume that stands for Early Retirement Initiative or Incentive. What, if someone would answer why the 49000 is under this pension benefit and not under the school budget. Mr. Dow. I forget which year it was. Was it 95, Roger, or 94? Three. In 93, uh, there was an opportunity for teachers to buy into an early retirement, uh, for, or for the town to buy into, into an early retirement for teachers. And the town opted to up front, I think it was $200,000, and then pay the remainder over, uh, I believe it was six years. And this will be the last year. Is that right, my follow-up? Go ahead. Uh, this will be the last year, in other words, we won't see that figure in on, the, on this particular article anymore? I believe so. All right, thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, the motion is for $2,558,738. On the motion, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Line item 30. Mr. Jones, Jr. Mr. Moderator, I move to raise and appropriate the sum of $2,218,921 and to fund $88,234 from free cash for a total of $2,307,155 to fund the police department budget as specified in lines 30 through 32 is printed in the sponsor recommended column of the warrant. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. The Finance Committee recommends, and again would point out item 32 is uh, capital that has been previously considered up until last year as separate items, is now part of the operating budget, short lifetime on cruisers, and they are truly uh, an item that is in the category of expendable supplies, as are a number of other items, so that is one of the free cash items. Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation, Mr. Jones, Jr.? Uh, the Board of Selectmen uh, recommend, and as you can see, I think the free cash transfer was slightly less than the amount of capital outlined. And that's part of our long-term goal of ultimately having all that within the operating budget and not having to rely on any free cash as part of the five-year plan uh, that we started last year. Gentlemen on the aisle, please state your name and address, sir. Uh, Mike Fitzpatrick for Les Rust Lane. Um, my question is from page 10 and 11 of the warrant, and I guess for the sake of time, I'll ask a broad question. If it's too broad, please let me know. Um, in a nutshell, what's up with the overtime? Could you speak then to the well, microphone? Uh, it just appears to me that, that oh, my question is, uh, what's up with the overtime? It appears to me that uh, it's out of control and that maybe by adding headcount, we might reduce some of that. And uh, In some instances, it's over 100% of their salary. I just maybe someone could explain that to me if there's a reason for that. It's uh, Did, uh, 1998, I know, but I'm assuming that it's going to only increase if... Mr. Younger, did you understand the gentleman's question and can, can you provide an answer? Uh, generally, we've done studies, particularly with the fire department, uh, regarding overtime, determining if additional personnel actually reduce you know, the costs in the overtime. And at least in the fire department, we, I think we had to increase the uh, staffing to eight members per shift. I think the chief, that was correct, to uh, reduce the overtime costs there. So, to reduce overtime by putting additional personnel on, we've determined is not cost effective at this point. 